Okay, let's start this video. This one shouldn't have many black lines because it's really zoomed out. Okay. I went ahead to my ship because the camera fell over when I was recording from where we left off. Seeing I didn't do anything of importance, I just walked to my ship. We're going to be landing in the place I got stuck earlier where we needed a, um, more firepower in our ship to proceed. And we're going to try to get past there. Most likely they have replaced the standard lame troopers there with something crazy that'll kill me. So I might die again and again and again. Hopefully sometime in this game I get something really hard. Hyper mode just seems overpowered. I kind of feel like not using it, but it does seem required at points of the game. Not only for puzzles, but for some bosses. Like, I don't think... I could have beat that one boss. I think I'm talking about Rundus. Why did I stop talking? Annoying bastards. Whatever. I don't think I could have beaten Rundus without it. I'm not even sure it's possible to beat him without it. Because, well, there's no way to dodge that mace thing. If you have more health, you might be able to. Oh, crap. Korak's no coming up soon, see. isn't he? I was not a fan of Korak. I gained health from that. Thanks, Pirate Trooper. I do like that. Um, destroy, ship. I do not like that wall. I would like it shot with missiles on a bombing run. Nice. I like my bomb ship. It is useful, and holy crap! It's a berserker lord! Yeah, they kind of just chucked that at you. Oh yeah, he can throw space pirates at you. Wonder why I can't hear the sound at all. Whatever. Am I even talking? Did the sound cut out of my computer? I could hear myself earlier. This guy seems like a weak berserker. Lord. Okay, maybe the sound... I don't know if the sound cut off there. Or maybe I just wasn't talking for a long time. I don't know. That was weird. Oh, well. It's not that he's a weak berserker lord. Well, I think he is, but... Nonetheless, he still seems to be a berserker He doesn't have shoulder armor. Which makes him a lot easier. Owned. Nice. Yay! Okay, that was not something I was expecting. Quite bothersome. But okay. What is the time? Um, okay, three minutes and 52 deal. seconds. He wasn't the same as the Berserker Lord. That's the time on that video, not on the video recording yeah, right that. now that's compressing it. That does not seem to be a normal crawl tank. It is a crawl tank in hyper mode. The best way to deal with that is probably to go into hyper mode, shoot it once, and then leave hyper mode. Because they take one hit from a hyper mode bullet, I think. Frenzied hyper tank. I mean, a frenzied crawl tank. Ah! It's quite annoying if you try to take him down with just a charge beam. doing that. Pretty much any monster in the game can go into hyper mode. It's quite annoying. Like it's nothing. Well, with all the health pickups in this room, I guess I would have. I 
I was told that you're invincible during hyper mode. That seems very unfair. Oh. You are God. invincible during hyper mode, but it took me a very long time to figure out that that was actually true. Called purposely hurting myself when I go to hyper mode, then instantly leaving it. Not taking any damage from that, and I was like, oh, okay. Kill those flying bastards. No one likes flying pirates. Did I kill him? Yeah. Is that everything? It's Korak! I didn't think so. There's a reason I didn't go hyper mode there. Okay, what is that? That is Seriously, Korak. What is that thing? Korak. <laughs> Or Korok. I don't remember. You can stun it by shooting it in the tongue or mouth. And you may hurt it from beneath, is what it said. I don't think that's what I'm doing. You know what's really sad? That is what you're doing. And because of not understanding that, it takes me forever to figure this guy out. See, I am very confused at this point in time. This guy took me forever to figure out how to kill. I hate Korak. Korak was my first of hated bosses list. I killed his rider. Who else fits on hated bosses list? Moganar. Um... Wait. Metroid Hatcher. Uh, that's all I can think of right now. I didn't really hate anyone else. I was uh, wrong. He doesn't work like those. I was trying to kill him like he was a stone toad, because I'm like, he has a similar tongue to a stone toad. Stone toad is what I meant to say. Stone toads are from Metroid Prime 1. Anorbis dies the same way stone toads do from Metroid Even Prime 2. Belly sometimes, vulnerable from the ground. sometimes. The question I'm having with this dude is, um... How the heck do I get... hits off on him? Bombs. You have to bomb him. It's really retarded. The hit detection on him is also awful. Bo bomb hit detection, I mean. Like, morph ball. It's quite annoying. Did I hit myself? I probably said, like, the same line at least ten times in this episode by now. What's up? But oh well. The good news is there is a lot of health in this arena. I'm getting my ass kicked because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it tends to happen in games like Metroid and Zelda when you don't know what you're doing against bosses. Uh, Most bosses, actually, for that matter. Like any game. I don't know how to hurt you. Yeah. This was not pleasant. Very hard to hit his tongue. Was this two or three videos? I'm hoping two videos. I think I'd kill him next video. Time dramatically. Um, next time, I continue trying to figure out how to kill this creature. Yeah, I hate Korak or Korak or whatever the hell his name is. See you guys all next time where I think I kill him. See ya.